lock picking. Remembering where things are in someone else's house. Hey son, let's drink your first beer together. Me, slams beer. Memorizing certain passages from specific books. I've got a freaky talent for memorizing the exact sentence or sentences in the page number of novels. If it happens to be a passage that I either find very amusing, terrifying, or awesome. Doing well in tests. If you are too good you either cheat or revise every day apparently. Knowing where people keep items on their person. Friend will be looking for his keys or phone, and I'll know what jacket pocket he left it in. Driving a white van slowly past a school. Recognizing faces. I was approaching the check and counter of a hotel I didn't remember being in before, when the desk clerk welcomed me by name. I was visibly startled. His co-worker explained he's got a freakish memory. I checked later I had been there 3 years before. Remembering things about a person from a few months slash years ago, when the person herself can't remember about it. You just look like a stalker and it's frustrating. Walking silently. It's always a good skill to have to be able to be quiet in a moment's notice, but do it too well and you start appearing behind people and freaking them out. How long have you been there type things? I used to be a dispatcher for home heating fuel in Juneau, Alaska, and when I meet people I'd say oh, you live such and such street. I'd get an uncomfortable silence from them, and have to tell them we deliver your oil. I work. Locating children. Typing. I type at a little over 150 words per minute. I've been repeatedly accused of faking it, which sounds funny until it's your co-workers and boss saying it, calling your work into question. Anything borderline fancy with twirling knives. I carry and use my pocket knives quite often, and have picked up ways to easily handle them. People either assume that I'm full we bore a serial killer. I don't think it's really an everyday skill, but being able to tell somebody by the sound of their footsteps. When friends or family approach my door I know who's about to knock. I love creeping them out by saying come in, name here. Being calm. People accuse you of being cold, if you are not as agitated as they are. Knife sharpening. Unless you're a chef. Smiling. Removing clothes off of an uncooperative toddler. Whistling. I can whistle the android text tone and it freaks people out. Due to my job, property management, and me being a flake, used to lose slash forget my keys a lot, I've gotten really good at quickly breaking into houses and apartments. Not tying. Shuffling cards. Lying. Running in high heels. Being a very persuasive salesperson. I have very fast reading comprehension. People never believe me when I say that I've already read it, and get frustrated that I don't take longer. I once had a neighbor catch me while I was taking groceries out of my car, and ask if I knew how to open locked doors as they locked themselves out by mistake. Went over to their door, took out a credit card, and shimmied my way in in no more than 5 seconds. Probably was bittersweet for them. In my experience in the US with people who don't have much background in science, being able to convert imperial weight to metric by knowing the conversion ratios makes them think I'm heavily involved in drugs. Genuine kindness. My father was such a good soul, and people were suspicious about his kindness sometimes. The shortcut for opening an incognito tab. The removal of stains. Eavesdropping. I just passively listen to other people a lot when I'm alone, even if I'm doing something else. It gets really embarrassing when you bring up information you heard from their conversation, forgetting that you weren't involved, or when you laugh at a joke said by someone across the room. A couple of years ago I locked my keys in my car in a Walmart parking lot. I went in and asked if they could help me. Two employees came out with a jimmy. The one guy made a bet with the other that he could unlock my car in under a minute. He then proceeded to unlock my car in 15 seconds. I told him thanks, you must have a lot of practice. 
to which he laughed and walked away. Next episode's question is, what are you addicted to? Click the link below to submit your answer. The best submissions will be featured next episode.